Hey everyone, and welcome back to another one of my mod installation videos. So, in this video, we're going to be covering the Italian Wars, and it's going to be for Total War Medieval 2. Now, just as a little extra, this is a technique I'm going to show you that I use for installing mods all the time on Medieval 2. Usually because I don't like using the launchers that come with with the Medieval 2 mods. They always seem to give me problems for one reason or another. So this is kind of like a little hack that I use to launch mods. Uh, it's quite easy, quite straightforward. Hope you like it. Hope you find it useful. But anyway, enough chit chat. Let's get on with installing the, uh, the mod. So first of all, come to the Total War Center, create an account. And then once you're at the Total, Total War, the Italian Wars uh, page, don't worry about the link, I'll be putting that in the description. But once you're here, grab all five of these files, okay? Just install them where you like. Me personally though, I stuck them straight into the uh, Medieval 2 folders. In fact, I'll show you where I stuck them right now. Okay, so first, well, now we'll just come over to Steam. Come over to Medieval 2. Click there. Go to Properties. Go to local files and browse local files. Okay. Now, if we go into mods, this is where I actually downloaded those uh, executable files. Is it executable? Zipped files. Okay. That the launch files are actually. I'll just show you, shall I? There we go. Here we go. All four files and the sounds folder. Right. So, what you do next, hit the launcher. Okay. Do this. Thank you very much go next next and this bit doesn't really matter because we're not using the the launcher so do what i did if you want or just install it yeah just install it anywhere you want because it doesn't matter but i did this i installed this i'll just show you if i get rid of this i'll show you where i installed everything i just installed it here in the mods folder the total there you go the italian wars that's what you get after you've run the installer okay and the path doesn't really matter considering what we're going to do next um but as i say just for convenience sake i've stuck it here because this is where we're going to do most of our work in this mod subfolder so i've got everything here one one other thing is a grab from here okay grab the sounds uh files okay unzip them and unzip them over here Going back into the Italian Wars folder, unzip them in data, okay? So you have them there, because it's not part of that install. Okay? Right, so what we're left with is this Italian Wars folder that has everything we need to play the game. Right, next step. Quite easy. Go back to mods, okay? And what we do is this. Go over to any one of these uh, campaign folders that we have, because Medieval is it DLC, the Kingdoms DLC, which I believe should be bundled with all copies that are now on, on Steam. What we'll do here is we'll just grab one of these and rename it. Okay, I'm going to rename that to America's dot one. Okay, go back to my Italian Wars folder, and I'm going to rename that to Americas, just like that, okay, now, remember that technique, because it'll be useful in the future for you, that's all you really need to do, close that, close that, and now we launch, okay, select Americas, obviously, because that's the one we renamed, don't be pressing any of these, because it won't work, hit play, And any second now, there we go. We have the Italian Wars. Brilliant. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful. Um, as I say, it's a technique that you can use uh, with other mods for, for Medieval 2. It works brilliantly for me. Um, hope you like that. If you did, please think about maybe subscribing or leaving a like. It helps the channel. I know I've repeated this, but it is true. And um, I will catch you in the next video. But until then, my friends, as always, this is Hip Kelp signing off.